All right, so this video is going to show you how to use Facebook ads to promote your Facebook page. First of all, there are two ways that you can use Facebook ads to promote your Facebook page. One is to promote your page as a whole. The second is to promote a page story. So the way that you do this, and I'll discuss the more strategic stuff as we go along, you go to your Facebook page, you see your admin panel, uh, just by clicking on this button at the top right, opens up your admin panel, and then there's a selection called Build Audience. Click on Build Audience, and then create an ad. All right. Uh, the first step here is destination. You can enter a page, your Facebook page, an app, Facebook app, or an external URL. All right. So again, in this case, we are going to promote a Facebook page. Okay. Type in the name of your page, and it will show up in destination. This is where you want to send people to in the ad. Okay. Now, as I mentioned before, you have two choices. You can either promote the page as a whole, or a specific post of the page. Now, why would you want to do either one? You would want to promote your Facebook page if your goal is to really accumulate Facebook fans. That's, that's a legitimate goal. But some people say, great, we have a lot of fans. Now we want to promote our specific content. We are having a fundraiser. We're trying to get people to sign a petition. And we want to promote updates about that that people have already commented on and liked. Okay, so we you can select page. That's pretty straightforward. You can create a new ad for your page, which means that you just simply write a headline. You're limited to 25 characters here, 90 characters in the text. Okay, you can choose your own image, which would replace your default thumbnail, and you can decide where you want people to land. Do you want them to land on the timeline, photos, other custom apps? that you have on your page and so forth. So when you create this kind of ad yourself, it's okay. The downside is that you're missing the social proof element, right? And what do I mean by social proof element of an ad? If we select stories about their friends liking the nonprofit Facebook guy, if I select this, the ad is a totally different animal now. The way that this ad works is it leverages the social graph that exists on Facebook. So for example, let's say Mary sees this ad and her friend George likes this page. Her friend George happens to like this page. She is motivated perhaps to like the page because George liked it already. Okay, So this ad is obviously displayed to friends of fans who've already liked this particular page. That's how this works. Okay, So that's the first type of ad that you can use. The second type of ad that we talked about before in terms of a page is to promote a specific post on your page or a specific page story. All right, so we're going to select that. And now we have a couple of different choices in terms of which stories we want to promote. We can promote your latest post. Just know that the time period where you're running the ad, you have to, you know, obviously be conscious that everything you post on your page is going to be displayed in the ad. The second choice is to choose a specific page post. All right, and here's where it gets really interesting. From this drop down menu, you see a whole list of recent page updates. This is where you want to go into Facebook Insights. Okay, so if we go back to our Facebook page, all right, we're going to go back to our Facebook page and we're going to go into Insights and take a look at what we have from the posts that are possibly available. Okay, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. From the post types, I'm going to pick just a regular post, an update, and I'm going to rank everything by virality. Okay, so now I might want to, you know, go through each one of these posts and select one, you know, which one is going to be the best one to display in this ad based on my strategy. You know, if there's a if there's a petition that we're working on, we might want to display a, a, a post that received a lot of comments related to that petition and that obviously has a link hopefully to that petition as well. We're going to go back into the ad and we're going to pick a specific post. I will just pick Facebook fact. Okay. And then now when we pick a specific post, we have two other choices what people are going to see. Just to see the selected post and this is what it's going to look like right here. Okay. You could see there's the, the title of the page, eight likes, four comments, one share. They can actually comment, like, and share directly from the ad. They don't have to go to the page to do that. Okay, 
the other way to display an ad is that you can simply display stories about their friends liking the selected post. Okay, so instead of this ad, it would simply say, you know, Jane like this update. Okay, so once you select whether you're going to promote the Facebook page or the post, after you're done with that, you scroll down. You're going to pick your audience. Okay, um, by default, we're looking at United States, but I'm going to narrow it down a little bit more. So I'm going to pick state and we're going to pick Massachusetts. Now you'll notice that the audience number up at the right it's now 157 million people. It's going to update to three and a half million people. Okay, So this audience number will update real-time as you're narrowing down your, your criteria here. Okay, So again let's say age. So 25 to 45. Okay, where am I getting this range? I can go into Facebook Insights and look at my demographics of the fans that exist on my page, of people that I'm reaching already, and people that are talking about my page. I can look at three different sets of demographics depending upon my goals. Okay, we scroll down even more. We can type in precise interests. Okay, so I can say, you know, nonprofit organizations. The audience gets narrowed a little bit more. And I can even target broad interests at the same time. All right, but I'm just going to leave that blank for now. Uh, connections not connected to your page, which might make sense if you are promoting your page for people to like it. All right, so if somebody's already liked your page, you don't want to waste money displaying an ad to that person if you're promoting your page, obviously. If you're promoting a, a page update, though, a post, maybe you do only want you know, people connected to the page to see the ad and that's it. And then we have objective. So show this to people who are most likely to like my page. This means that you're going to be paying for the ad based on the number of impressions. Or you can say, you know, people that are most likely to click on my ad or sponsored story. This will allow you to pay for your ad based on per click, meaning that every time someone clicks the ad, which is an action, you're going to pay for that. It, it doesn't matter how many millions of times the ad is displayed, you're only going to pay for the number of times that people click on it. Okay, But again, if you pick like my page, you are going to pay for the number of impressions. But you can put a cap on it. Okay, So here we have a campaign budget. right? So $10 per day $25, $100, whatever your budget is going to be. Uh, campaign schedule, I usually recommend that people deselect this and pick five to six days to run the campaign, especially if you're just starting out with Facebook ads. Pick a specific time, you know, five days uh, and that's it. And, and if it's your first time using Facebook ads to promote your page or a page post, approach this as, you know what, this is really a learning experience for us and we are willing to pay, you know, $25, 50 bucks a day for the next five days to really see how Facebook ads work with our particular page, with our particular community. Okay, so have that mentality to begin with and then as you learn and start getting results, you can refine your approach and get more creative and try other ideas. Set your budget, time frame, you place your order. If you're not already a Facebook ad customer, you're going to be prompted to enter your credit card and all that stuff. And once you place your ad, you're going to receive an email. And I'll show you what the email looks like. It comes from Facebook. Thanks for creating a Facebook ad. If you have any questions, here's a help center and so forth. So you're going to get an email once the ad is approved. Okay. And then once it's approved and the ad is running, you can go into yet another module that Facebook has, which allows you to measure how the ad is performing. You know, how many people are seeing the ad, how many people are clicking on it, how much of your budget has been spent so far. Okay, so that's how to create a Facebook ad to promote your Facebook page. <laughs>